lovelies welcome back to my channel my name is lizzie and i post a lot of beauty related content here on youtube if they're the videos you love to watch then please hit that subscribe button down below today we are testing the new revolution pro true love face palette i've got the shade light to medium i believe there's two shades of this you've got light to medium and you've got medium to dark medium to dark was definitely not the right skin tone for me um so i chose the light to medium and this video is special because we are collabing with the lovely Makeup with Alex Kate, who's one of my true, true, that's a weird word, dear, dear friends here on YouTube. So definitely go and check my description box because her video will be linked down below. And she definitely does a lot of similar content to me. And if you've seen one of our collabs before, then you'll definitely know that we have very similar comment content. <laughs> Yeah, we review quite similar stuff, except she does love her high-end beauty sometimes, whereas I only like a bit of high-end, but she does have she does have some good high-end bits that she likes to review, so definitely go ahead and check her out. I'm very interested to see what this really looks like. I haven't actually opened it properly. This retailed for £9 as well. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's gold, which I love. The only thing is your fingerprints are going to get all over it. I must have opened it because my hair was in there. And this is what the palette looks like. So you get four eye shades. You get a bronzer, blush and highlight. I do think that highlight may suit me so let's do some swatches i'm very excited for this like i have just put on the new revolution pro miracle cream as a primer my skin is dry af at the moment so and i will have a tiktok on the cream as well if you really want to see like a little quick in-depth quick in-depth tutorial on it so yeah very grubby already can you see that so let's just dive into swatches so we have the eyeshadow swatched here they look really nice they're not too pigmented but they're very like a soft glam kind of look is what if you're going for that vibe you're gonna love these and then i've put on my arm here the bronzer blush and highlight very intrigued by the highlight it's a very kind of gold shade but it's just like one of those not too in your face so I do feel like this is definitely like a soft glam kind of palette I believe this is meant to be a Charlotte Tilbury dupe kind of thing if I'm right if it's Charlotte Tilbury there's some kind of high-end palette that this is meant to look like I don't know I'm not really a Charlotte Tilbury like in your face fan so I'll definitely I believe it is but yeah Let's put some base on and we'll start playing with this. Let's start by using this colour all in the crease. No, let's start by using this colour all in the crease because it's a very soft palette. That's what I'm going for. So yeah, we'll use the bronzer first. Very dusty, but it isn't meant to be an eyeshadow, is it? So I'm just going to put it on the outer corner and then drag it in. Blended out really nice though. Now let's take the shade here. Again, very dusty. Just going to lightly bring that over the edge because I actually like the depth that we've got. Then I'm going to take that white and put it right under my brow bone. It's like a banana y colour. And because I've gone a bit too far, let's go back in with this shade here just to bring the depth back up here. And then on my lid, Let's go for this first and then top it off with this shade here. I've got very dry skin, dry eyelids at the moment. So sorry if that grosses anyone out. Very, very soft glam looking colour. Let's try putting that glitter over the top. because It's more like a glitter formula. God knows why I went for this kind of brush, but you know, hey ho. It's actually nice to use. It's one of the Revolution... R3 buffing eye crease brush. Well, I'm using it for my eyes, just not the well, I'm putting it on my crease as well. I actually was kindly gifted a load of these brushes from Revolution, which I'm actually quite loving at the moment. In love with this eye, actually really like it. Just gonna go do the other eye off camera, move this forward because that pees me off, and come back for some base. All right, base is on. Like I said, I did use the, just nearly dropped something. 
the Revolution Pro C Miracle Cream as a primer. Works so well. And then I've been loving the IRL Filter Foundation. Amazing. And then my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Oh, and a bit of XX Hydrofix setting spray because I looked powdery as fuck. So yeah, let's do a bit of bronzing. I'm going to try this Relove brush. I haven't tried it yet. It's quite thin. So let's see, because a lot of my brushes are dirty. Let's see. Oh, very nice shade. This brush isn't the one. This might do. That's better. Perfect. Blush time. Bit awkward shape to get in there. Nice shade. Time for the highlight, which I'm very intrigued to try. Everything's so dusty. <laughs> oh, it's nice. It's like champagne -y gold. Oh, that is amazing. I'm just going to put it on the inner corner of my eyes, put some nice bold brown lip on. And then we can talk about the palette. I actually can't remember. I think I've seen Alex's look yet, but I haven't like remembered it. So I'm glad I haven't, because I wonder how similar it is, especially like using the same palette. So yeah, let me do lips, eyebrows, eyelashes, and we'll be back. Well, makeup is complete, and I'm sorry, but I, this palette, nine pounds, I, I'm in love with it. Again, I just feel like I'm in love with a lot of Revolution products anyway. If you're looking for something so pigmented, you're definitely not going to like this. This is definitely something very soft, very natural, very everyday-ish. So you're not going to find something that's going to be pigmented um, or like buildable. This is something like once you've slapped it on your lids, slapped it on your face, that is the shade. It's going to stay. You're not going to build it up. You're not going to add pigment to it. It's literally nice and natural, everyday, fresh kind of feeling look. And just to let you know, my lips, oh my God, this combo, I thought, let me use a Revolution Pro lip liner because I do love them. It's the shade Vamped, yeah. Then we've got the Create, not Create, uh, Reloves Lipstick in Express. Then we've got the Baby Gloss in the shade Super. I'm going to swatch them and show you just how nice these are together. So creamy. Look at that combo. So the lip liner is a little bit more ready. Lipstick is very like berry toned, but that is the deep kind of gloss that's given this effect. Love it. Very, very impressed with this palette. Do love it. I feel like for nine pounds, if you're gonna reach for something every day, I don't like the packaging, like the gold. <laughs> I wish it was a bit more, I don't know, like the box. I love the box, so I think I'm gonna keep the box. One of the downsides to this is there's only two palettes. You've got light to medium and medium to dark. Two palettes is not gonna cover a lot of skin tones. Like, it's just one of those things where you're like, please cover more skin tones. <laughs> don't just do two, do three, do four, maybe, yeah, four at least. Like, that's the main thing. But other than that, it's really nice. So I do want to grab the deeper one at some point. I know the bronzer is going to be too dark for me, but I'll use it as eyeshadow just like I did the bronzer here. I love it. This is so fresh feeling. Let me know your thoughts. Go down below and check out Alex's video because I need to double check the picture she sent to see what she did. I'm so, so excited to see it. I love it. Fresh. Oh, it's a bit of me. Well, kind of a bit me for summer. <laughs> so yeah, let me know your thoughts and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.